Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today we're gonna do a little Aritzia clothing haul. I'm gonna try on everything and share with you some of the things that I picked up recently. I have a whole clothing rack back there filled with pieces that I picked up from Aritzia. So before we go ahead and dive into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also hit the little notification bell. It lets you know every time I post a new video, you don't wanna miss out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I wanna share with you guys is this jacket, and this was actually gifted to me from Aritzia, which is so amazing. I actually showed it in my last date night lookbook that I filmed with Brandon. They also sent me a few other things that I will show you guys in a second, but this jacket is just so pretty. It's actually from Wilfred, and it is just such a gorgeous material. It kind of looks and feels like linen, but it's a different material that doesn't wrinkle as easily, which I really, really like. I also love that it has a cropped cut because I feel like you can pair it with so many different things. You can dress it up, dress it down. It is a little bit on the expensive side, but I always splurge a little bit more on jackets because I feel like they really can finish off an outfit and kind of just elevate the whole look. Then I have this bodysuit from Babaton and I just ate dinner so I might be a little bit extra chunky right now. I love this bodysuit. My favorite thing about it is the color. I believe it is sold out online in this color but they do have other colors available. It's such a good basic. I've been picking up a lot of basics lately and I just feel like they're so good for layering. If you guys saw my last closet haul video, this clothing haul was the reason why I wanted to do that purge because I literally was shopping the Aritzia sale a couple of weeks back. My total was around $600 and it kind of stressed me out a little bit. So I purged my closet in order to make room for all of this. I do have a whole playlist on like wardrobe, basics, top 10 essential pieces that every girl needs to have. If you guys want me to do another like capsule wardrobe video, I can start doing one for every single season and kind of like style them. Let me know if something like that would be of interest. But anyways, I am obsessed with this bodysuit. It's also a thong, which I really like. Then I have these jeans from A. Goldie and I am obsessed. I feel like A. Goldie makes some of the best jeans ever because all their jeans always just fit my waist so nicely and they kind of stretch out in the perfect areas and so I believe these jeans are a size 25 but I'll go ahead and list it somewhere down below and in the description box but they fit me perfect they're a little bit more of a straight leg fit and honestly I do wish that they were just a little bit longer I'm 5'6 so I feel like if you're a little bit shorter on me the jeans will fit perfect on you I picked them up when they're like 30% off which I feel like is such a good deal and next I also picked up this top from TNA and I love this I feel like it is such a good basic and I actually don't own a lot of gray clothing it's just like a really good neutral to have so this is kind of like a long sleeve thermal top and I just really love it I actually ordered it in a size medium so it's a little bit more oversized and not super cropped which I like because I feel like it is a little bit more versatile super comfortable and again just a good basic to have these shorts are from a goldie and they fit me so perfect i posted a picture of them on my instagram and i got so many questions asking where they're from i also got them during the aritzia sale so i did get 30 percent off of them but i would purchase these normal price i just love a goldie shorts these fit me perfectly they're super high waisted but i like that these are just like a little bit longer so they're not like completely booty shorts it almost kind of looks like a wash black slash dark gray which i really like because i feel like it goes with so many different outfits i wore something like this to the park yesterday when brie and i went out for some lunch i just paired it with some high top converse this blazer is also another one of the things that aritzia gifted to me this is the agency blazer i believe the color of it is just so good and i think this blazer is 100 percent worth the money First of all, the fit is amazing. The material also just feels super high quality and it just makes any outfit that I pair it with just makes it look so expensive. My favorite thing is it's kind of like a greenish neutral color, but I feel like it's so unique and would go with so many different things. I just love oversized blazers. I could definitely see myself styling this with so many different outfits. I paired it with a basic t-shirt and you've seen a lot of these things in my last few lookbooks just because I got everything like a couple of weeks ago. Every time I get new clothes, I obviously want to style them. This t-shirt I believe is Wilfred Free. I don't remember but I'll go ahead and link it down below but I feel like this is the perfect t-shirt 
it just fits me so well and it kind of is like a ribbed material so it's super nice and thick and i feel like you could pair it with so many different things first of all i'm obsessed with this outfit i feel like it is so cute this skirt is another one of the things that was gifted to me from aritzia and i've been wanting a skirt like this for so long because i feel like it is just the perfect skirt for me it is like the perfect length i love the slit in it and i love that it's simple enough that i could pair it with like a baggy t-shirt or i could even dress it up for something like this it also just fits me so well i have it in a size four and it just hugs my waist perfect but it also has an elastic waistband so if i eat a little bit too much it still will fit me i paired it with this blouse that i picked up from aritzia as well obviously everything's from aritzia but this top is from babaton and i actually have it in another color i just love it so much that i had to have it in this brownish color online it says it's brown but i feel like in person it just almost looks more like an olive color i feel like it's such a good basic top and it's so flattering on it has like a low scoop neck which i feel like flatters my chesticles really nicely i also love that it kind of has like super subtle balloon sleeves and that it has like a tighter crop fit the material is also super luxe feeling but still super comfortable and i just love the way that this outfit looks together these heels are from revolve i mentioned them in my date night video and i just feel like this outfit is just so classy and chic but like effortless you know this next outfit is super casual because again i just ordered so many new basics from aritzia this is the last gifted thing from aritzia and it's just a long cropped tee from tna and i feel like again such a good basic to have and i wanted to incorporate more gray into my wardrobe as well it's super soft and not quite as thick as i wanted it to be but i feel like this would look super cute like this just for like a casual summer outfit or if I wanted to pair it with some sweatpants. These shorts are also from A Goldie and they honestly are so tight on me and I was debating whether or not I wanted to sell these or keep them but I figured A Goldie usually stretches out a little bit so I hope they stretch out more because if they don't i think i might get rid of them because they are a little bit too tight for my liking they are super high waisted i think that's why it bothers me so much is because it feels like it's like sucking in my rib cage but they are a really flattering short and i feel like they make my booty look so good i love how they are a longer length and i've just been leaning more towards like longer shorts lately because i just feel like they look a little bit more classier normally in jeans i'm a true 26 but in a goldie i do get a 25 in size down because a lot of their stuff does stretch out on me i would totally wear an outfit like this out i just feel like it's such a fun summer outfit and if i paired it with like a white bucket hat and a cute little purse it could definitely be a vibe the last piece that i want to share with you is this tank but i would style it in an outfit like this and i feel like this outfit is just so cool and casual again you could see this jacket can be styled so many different ways you could also style it with like the silk skirt and a tighter crop top or something like this it can just go so many different ways and it just makes this whole outfit a little bit more elevated looking this is the next piece i picked up from aritzia and i believe it's the last piece that i want to show you but it's just like a plain basic crop tank top i think it was around like 25 dollars and i feel like for something like this it is totally worth it because it's just something that goes with so many different things it's also another great piece but i feel like it's so versatile yesterday i wore it with sweats and i've been so into like gray colors lately it's a super like nice feeling thick material as well so i'm super happy with that last minute i decided to show you guys a couple more things pretty little things sent me a package recently listen okay you guys know i'm not a huge advocate for fast fashion and i actually encourage you to not support fast fashion brands so anything like asos boohoo misguided pretty little thing zara are all fast fashion brands fast fashion if you aren't aware are like any shops that produce a lot of like trendy items and in high volume and that way they can sell it for super cheap i think it's so much better to invest in your pieces and get quality things that will last you your entire life and so for that reason i do consider shopping at like Aritzia, Everlane, pieces that are a little bit more high quality and a little bit more expensive but are a little bit more like eco-conscious and like Everlane is sustainable as well which I love. If money is an issue for you, you can also go to like thrift stores, shop at Depop and Poshmark as well but I do understand that for some people fast fashion is like the only option and I did want to talk about a few items that I actually was pleasantly surprised from from Pretty Little Thing. Of everything that they sent me, I only like like four things. The rest of the stuff was like 
super cheap feeling, like just not things that I would ever recommend anyone to spend their money on. These two things I did get from Pretty Little Thing and I was actually pleasantly surprised. This one here is just like a dark brown bodysuit and I feel like the cut is super flattering. It is a thong as well, which I like because you don't get those panty lines. I was actually wearing this bodysuit in my last makeup tutorial. These sweats are one of the things that Pretty Little Thing is most known for. They are super comfortable and super soft, but I have heard that they source their sweats from like Fruit of the Loom, so maybe shop from there. Or like Russell or Champion also has really good quality sweats. I like the color of these and I think that they are super nice and I think if you're looking for sweatpants, maybe check out those other places first. <laughs> I hate to be like a hating ass bitch, but I just don't support fast fashion, you know? I just, I'm not the biggest fan. Next, I have another pair of sweats from Pretty Little Thing. They feel a little bit different. Both of the sweats I ordered were in a size medium, but these ones somehow feel different. They also have a drawstring, whereas the last ones did not. Um, it's also a little bit more of a baggier fit, but I've been needing some gray sweatpants for a really long time. This shirt, one of my guy friends, Marcus, actually has his own brand called Doberman Studios. You guys have seen me style the sweatshirts and the hoodies on my channel a couple of times, but I do love his streetwear and he just launched this new collection called More Energy and this crop t-shirt is just so stinking cute. The back also says More Energy as well and I feel like it is a really good fit. It's really nice and thick material as well and he also launched these little like logo necklaces and it has his little dog symbol on it which I feel like is so cute. So I went ahead and added that to my stack but I just feel like it is such a good looking necklace. It is however gold plated and you guys know I do prefer gold filled but I think this is a really cool like pendant necklace. Okay last thing that I want to share from Pretty Little Thing are these jeans and I actually was pleasantly surprised by these because they actually feel not bad. They remind me of like American Eagle jeans so they feel like nice and thick nothing crazy they are kind of like a stiff situation and they don't stretch out a whole lot i feel like my a goldie just have like a little bit of strips that make them a little bit more comfortable the wash is like a good dark blue wash but the fit is nothing i'm crazy about i feel like it just makes me look kind of like frumpy none of the pieces that i got from pretty little thing blew me away but there was also a lot of things that i was really really disappointed in and so these were the only like few items that i would feel comfortable even sharing with you guys but the fit is nothing crazy like if i tried these on in store i would not even buy them this piece is actually from alice and olivia and they recently sent me a couple of pieces they sent me two dresses that were kind of like cute but their stuff is super expensive so i didn't even want to talk about it in this video however i do really like this bodysuit i love that it's a bodysuit because you can pair it with like any bottom and it just automatically dresses up the outfit a little bit. It's kind of like a silvery gray color, which I think is so pretty, and I love the way that it drapes. The one thing I don't like is that it has a zipper situation. I'm not a huge fan of how it looks. I wish it was just all like the same material all around, but I do love the ruching in the front and that the spaghetti straps are like super tiny. those are all the things that I picked up recently from Aritzia. Let me know if you guys want to see a capsule wardrobe for every season. Maybe because summer is ending, I can do one for like fall. Just let me know down below in the comments. I'll go ahead and link everything down below in the description box like I always do, as well as my measurements. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I also have a couple recent lookbooks that I'll link here if you want to see them, as well as my playlist for like my wardrobe essentials. That is all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.